Hi, this is David Powell from Hartford Hackerspace, and today I'm going to do a demonstration of the NetDuino along with the SparkFun color sensor. It's a project that I'm calling the Color Rimeter. So what we have here is a red Bic lighter, a green piece of construction paper, and a blue NetDuino box, which is actually the box that the NetDuino was shipped in. And we have the NetDuino on the bottom. Uh, Arduino Proto Shield on the top, and uh, also on the Arduino Proto Shield we have uh, the SparkFun color sensor, a super bright white LED, a RGB LED, and uh, so what this project does is when you place an object over top of the sensor, uh, the LED, the RGB LED should uh, turn to the same color as the object. So we put a blue box over top and we get the LED to turn blue. A uh, green object over top and the LED turns green. And a red object. The, R, um, the RGB LED stays red and uh, the reason it's red all the time um, unless some other color is placed over top of it is because of the ambient light in the room. Uh, the dominant color of the lighting is red currently. I've also seen it uh, go green. So if the lighting was dominantly green, it would stay green. And back to blue. So there you have it. Alright, let's take a look at the code real quick. So we're running Visual Studio C Sharp Express, uh, the 2010 version. And as you can see down here, I have a debug.print statement. And uh, debug.print is going to output our RGB values down here to the output window. <clears throat> um, it only does this once we're in debug mode. And to get into debug mode, we can either press F5 or we can click the um, triangle up here, the play button. Um, when you hit the play button, your source code is downloaded via the USB cable over to your Netduino and um, it's stored actually on the Netduino uh, so you can run you don't have to be in the Visual Studio environment in order to uh, run your code you can power it externally or you can power it with your USB cable um, yeah so let's go ahead and click the play button And as you can see down here in the output window, um, we have our C, which is our clear filter on our sensor, R, which is the red sensor, a uh, red filter on our sensor. G is green, B is blue. Um, and if I place objects over top the the sensor, you can see that right now the green color, actually the red, is dominant. and put a different object over and uh, it's kinda hard to tell it's either red or blue uh, so that's it